Hi everyone, welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. I'm Mike Riley, the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox, and today we're going to talk about crowd estimates and estimating a crowd size uh, during something like a civil unrest or a, a protest. Uh, where people are out in an open area and it's uh, not something that's a ticketed event where you have to uh, uh, estimate the size of a group uh, and you don't really have a lot of parameters there uh, to help you. There's no raw data. Um, a good place to go and find these types of tools is journalisttoolbox.org. Um, the website uh, has hundreds of uh, links and resources on it. A um, couple places you can go is right here under mapping resources. There's uh, mapping resources there that you can use to estimate crowd sizes. Um, we also have uh, a page too called covering protests and civil unrest. Uh, this video will reside on this page, this training video. Uh, there are dozens upon dozens of uh, links to different uh, uh, resources for covering protests, safety equipment, uh, tips for uh, you know, uh, how to deal with the police and working in volatile streets. There's all kinds of resources on this page. Uh, it's very, very handy and, and unfortunately it's something we need uh, to have quite often as journalists. Um, the two tools we're going to work with today for estimating crowd sizes is mapchecking.com, which is a mashup tool. It uses uh, Google Maps uh, as well as a, a, a mathematical algorithm uh, the, to estimate a crowd size. Uh, we're also going to use the Google Earth Measure tool where you can measure distances and areas. And measuring areas is very good for uh, estimating crowd sizes. You know, if you know that maybe two people fit in a square yard, uh, you can then uh, calculate uh, by estimating the square yardage of an area or square uh, footage of a, an area uh, to estimate uh, how uh, big that crowd might be. Now, this would be based on personal observation or maybe you have a photo of how crowded an area is. We have the Women's March in Chicago every year in, in February, and we always see, you know, as people gather in Grant Park before the protest, uh, they'll uh, gather uh, in an uh, area there before they march, and it's easy to kind of uh, eyeball that area and see how uh, dense that area is populated with people, and then you can measure and see, you know, uh, do your little mathematical formula. So the first tool we'll look at is mapchecking.com, uh, and this one has a little search box in it. Uh, and I'll type in Thompson Center, Chicago, Illinois. It's down on Randolph Street. It's where there are a lot of protests in that uh, area of the city. You can zoom in and zoom out. And a lot of them take place kind of out here in this, this area right outside the Thompson Center. Uh, and you can go around and get, notice it gives you the little crosshairs here. Uh, and you can paint a little area around Let's say our protest kind of went up into that area. I could drag it over here. And we knew that two people fit per square meter. Again, this is just an estimate. It gives me a crowd estimate of 4,000. I mean, that's a lot more reliable than something maybe the police would give you or just trying to eyeball it in. Uh, it does give you a little bit of mathematical uh, justification to it. A lot of times I've seen media outlets too. You can take this link and, and link to it uh, out of the crowd estimate. Uh, in the story, you can actually link to uh, the map checking uh, page so you can show people how the uh, estimate was uh, compiled. Um, you can hit the little reset area and then you can go in and, and redo uh, your uh, design if you happen to mess it up or something like that. Um, another way to do it, uh, map checking is down. And again, you know, this uses Google's API um, and uh, uh, it's a really nice uh, tool. But another one that you can use is Google Earth, uh, earth.google.com. And if you hit Launch Earth uh, and go into their main interface here, uh, it will take you to an area uh, that you may want to go to. Um, the area I've selected here uh, is the Washington Monument in uh, the National Mall in Washington. This would have been helpful for estimating a crowd size during a uh, certain news event in January of 2017. Uh, but if I wanted to estimate the crowd size maybe at Trump's inauguration, I could do that uh, by clicking on this little major tool here. And it gives me a little area up here. And it defaults to meters, but I'll show you how to change it in a minute. And I can click around. All you have to do is click the little keyframes. And you can be as detailed as you want. You know, you could click out here, click in here, click in here. And I'll create this little area. 
And now we know how big this area is in square yards. Hit the little pull down menu there and allow you to select a different measurement. It gives you a perimeter too, which is helpful. Um, you can use this for many types of stories, but I now know that it's 23,000 square yards. If I knew two people fit in every square yard, I could estimate how many people were in this area, you know, based on how dense, uh, densely this area was populated. So again, for covering protests, this is a pretty good little tool, a uh, couple sets of tools here uh, for estimating a crowd size, mapchecking.com and the Google Earth Measure tool. That's all we had for now. We'll see you soon.